another unit of this course industrial waste treatment in this third unit now we are going to discuss about various industry what kind of processes are carried out and what kind of wastes are generated in this industries what is waste management for that particular industry characteristics of wastewater its treatment and as i said waste minimization along with by product recovery so we have divided industries into several groups the first group is agro based industry what is the meaning of agro based industry it means the raw material used by this industries it is directly uh, taken from agricultural activities so they are known as agro based industry and the first agro based industry which we are going to discuss is very popular industries cooperative industry of western maharashtra that is sugar industry uh, maharashtra is also known as sugar belt of india and next to up it is second in the country for sugar production okay so let's start the first industry sugar industry right so here we are going to first study about how the industry works its manufacturing process water use sources of wastewater and characteristics of wastewater in this lecture and in the next lecture we will study about the treatment and waste minimization part of it okay so about 75% of the sugar manufactured is known as cane sugar which is sugar obtained from sugar cane sugar is also obtained from some other uh, fruits like beet so most of us when we say sugar that sugar is from sugar cane and known as cane sugar okay so basically this industry is seasonal industry it does not work throughout the year but the crushing season which is a functioning season of the industry is from october to maximum may some in small scale industry may function hardly 3 to 4 months major states in production of sugar in india they are up second maharashtra then karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh and gujarat these are the major states for sugar production now look at the manufacturing process so it starts with weighing of the sugar cane which is received at sugar factory this weighing is done so that according to weight the amount is paid to the person who has brought the sugar cane okay the sugar cane is first washed and cut into small pieces and then uh, it is taken for crushing crushing is nothing but uh, cutting in very small fiber and then pressing it to extract juice okay so this is done in several steps hot water is sprinkled on this finely cut fiber sugar so that maximum extraction of sugar cane juice is done the sugar cane juice is then separated and the solid residue 
which remains it is known as bagasse now this process is done in unit called mill house and the juice now is taken to another unit known as boiling house all the further processes are done on this boiling house okay so the next process on sugarcane juice that is reduction of moisture so this sugarcane juice is heated with steam up to temperature 102 degree celsius and because of the heating moisture is removed further it is then treated after tre uh, heating it to 102 degree cel uh, celsius it is treated first with lime and the purpose is purification of the juice so lime is added and then it is allowed to settle in clary uh, clarifier the supernatant from clarifier which is clear juice is taken whereas the sludge residue settle at the bottom it is known as lime sludge and this lime sludge is taken for vacuum filtration the solid residue known as press mud whereas the filtrate or the juice from the press filter is again sent back for the purification process so now we have clear purified juice it is further treated with sulfur dioxide gas and the process is known as sulfitation uh, purpose is once again purification of juice and removal of impurities now it is heated in unit called evaporators the moisture is removed once it reaches to certain consistency then further heating may result in loss of sugar so then it is taken and further heated in vacuum pans now purpose of heating in vacuum pan is you can heat this juice at much lower temperature under vacuum so that there is no risk or fear of losing sugar so once the enough moisture is removed it has been evaporated and the sugar started to crystalline then this sugar syrup along with the crystals they are taken to next unit which is known as centrifugation during centrifugation process the sugar crystals are separated from the liquid uh, so because of the centrifugal force they are separated and they are collected according to size they are sieved and then grading so large bigger size grade, uh, gradation is done and then they the sugar is packed the liquid remaining from the centrifugation process it is known as molasses and that is another uh, we can say liquid waste from the process so i hope you have understood the process of manufacturing of sugar right so already i have given you the description step wise again you can see this process okay now let us focus on use of water okay how water and how much water is required so mill house where the crushing happens about 730 liter of water is used per ton of sugarcane crust so here all the figures are 
expressed in terms of per ton of sugar cane crushed for boiling house the steam generation the cleaning of floor and other equipment so about 230 liters per ton of sugar cane crushed washing of filter cloth that is press filter where the lime sludge is filter that is around 360 liter and the utility requirement condenser cooling 1640 liters so you can see here the maximum requirement is for non process or utility and that is steam generation and cooling Now, just pause the video and think what kind of wastewater is generated from this industry. I already gave you a description of the process. So, what you think about characteristics of wastewater generated from the sugar production process? You might have thought that various impurities like suspended solids, total dissolved solids, then it is uh, agro base, so organic matter. Okay, so you are right. If you have thought, yes, all these impurities are present, what about its concentration? Because when we think about treatment, concentration is very, very important. So, what about the concentration? So, here you can see the characteristics of the wastewater from sugar industry. The temperature is about 30 to 40 degree Celsius pH 4.6 to 6. So, you can see slight on acidic side. It is not acidic but lower side BOD about 1000 to 1500 milligram per liter, COD 2000 to 3000 milligram per liter, total dissolved solids, it is about 12, uh, 1700 mil, uh, milligram per liter, suspended solids about 1200 to 1300 milligram per liter and other important characteristics is oil and grease it is up to 40 milligram per liter and the mill house the crushing process this is the main source of oil and grease the gearbox requiring spraying of uh, coolant on the gear and this results in presence of oil and grease in the wastewater so, we can conclude the lesson here and in the next lesson, we will discuss about the treatment of wastewater from this industry. Thank you everyone.